this is an update on the Trading Up series. In the box, we have our second purchase after selling the white pet pack. Um, this is technically an Amazon's return, as by the thumbnail, but it is via a charity shop online. So there is a detector in here, and we have one other thing. And I'll, and I'll also update you on a, another sort of free income stream you can have if you're living in the beach like I do. I'll show you that in a second. Right, so in the box we have, it is a cheap machine, and I am a lover of the cheap machines, but it is a factory return, it's an Amazon return. Um, but I bought it via the British Heart Foundation, which is a charity in the UK, and it arrived today. Now, the gamble I took is, I don't know if it works. I don't actually know if it's all there. They don't test it. Um, they show you pictures, and there was two machines uh, up for sale, and I almost bid on the first one. They were both, both the same model. But when you looked at the picture close to the first one didn't have a search coil in the box. It had a it had a carry bag, and I think that was yeah the actual search coil was missing. I don't know why. But this one didn't have the carry bag in the box. But from what I could see from the pictures, and they weren't brilliant, it was all there. I was hoping that there wasn't a shaft missing. So that's all I need to check. I, I could see an arm cup. I could see a coil, a control box. I don't know if the um, cover for the batteries, all the batteries are there. Uh, and I think there was headphones with it. But we're going to find out. It does come in his original box as well. And like I said, it's a cheap Chinese machine. And I do love a cheap Chinese machine. So we will be doing an unboxing, a proper unboxing a air test and then I'll take it down the beach and if I can I'll take it on land and then obviously I'm going to sell it on and this is what slows the process down because I want to use this stuff to make a bit of content with. Um, I don't really want to buy a machine that I don't want to use but I will try and use them all. Um, I personally don't want the dais but obviously if I've got one cheap enough I'd buy one. My own preference. Uh, here we go. So what we got? It's a cheap machine. <laughs> you can get these on uh, Timu, AliExpress. It's a SunPow metal detector. The uh, what was it? The MD07. Looks very like the Kiwix one. Um, but what I will say is, I will compare them. I might do a comparison with the three. The three cheap machines I currently have here. We'll do some air test tests, we'll see if the coils fit on each other, that sort of silly stuff. But <clears throat> yes, if you want to see what's in the box, I will do an unboxing. But this is essentially what it is, and on the back, it does. It has an Amazon's return, an Amazon's return sticker, so it is a genuine Amazon return. Now, you want to know what I paid for this, don't you? I paid. £31. I should, I'm hoping, to get close to 60 back, providing it's all in the box. But we'll find out when we do the unboxing. And you just have to keep an eye in the corner, there will be trading up metal detectors of the logo. So yeah, we will unbox it and test it. So yeah, I hope that's, with the sale, I've got it written down here, with the sale of the, um, the whites one, and the tiny bit of change left over. We had 116.26 left. So 31 pound, I paid for that. And that was all in postage as well. So yes, I thought I got, a, I hope I got a good deal. So that was that. The other thing I bought, this was untested. I got it a bit cheap because it was untested. They couldn't test it because they didn't have a machine to test it on. This is the, where are we, the Goliath coil for the Technetics Eurotech Pro. Um, this will fit on my TX850 and my gold bug. So I, I will probably keep this for a bit longer than that. I won't sell this straight away. Because um, there is there is people that like the TX850 videos. So I'm going to do a few videos with this. I'll probably stick it on the gold bug as well. 
uh, we'll see what the coil is like. This is a 14 kilohertz coil. You never know, it might go on that. So I'm gonna do a few videos, so I won't sell this straight away. But this was 35 pound all in, and I should get 70 back for this when I get rid of it. Thereabouts. So with the sale of that, sale of that, and the money left over and whatnot, we should then have about 180. And that's when we start stepping it up to getting more branded machines, maybe, hopefully. So we've got them two. And then we had another income stream. These are the cuttlefish. I think I mentioned it in the first video. These are cuttlefish. And I thought, you know what? I'll prove it. Rather than just mention it in the video, I'll prove it. So I walked the dog today and I collected a bag. I'm not sure how heavy the bag is. Um, so yeah, I've collected a bag full of these. They need to be dried, washed, dried, trimmed. And then I need to get rid of them uh, by the kilo. I think you get £10 a kilo. I reckon that bag's got two kilos in it. And they've got to be decent. They've got to be nice and white. And that's like a little black line. But they've got to be white, not pecked bits by seagulls. They've got to be good cuttlefish to get premium money. So we're going to try it. So there'll be a bit of footage right now of me out earlier. The dog out for a walk. So I thought I'd do some cuttlefish and just show, maybe prove that you can make a can get some money for cuttlefish. Uh, see that one is not so great, I'm gonna leave that one. There will be better ones because I've already been out for a walk and I've noticed that this is the time of year for cuttlefish to wash in. I think I'm just gonna gather a couple of kilos uh, and then prep them, dry them and sell them. For those of you that don't know, these are good for animals. Animals will eat them. Uh, parakeets, reptiles. Um, you can grind it up and even put it in your dog food. It's good for them, it's full of calcium. Because it is just a, a bone. So if I can fill this bag, and you see there is a can in there as well. Because I can't leave litter on the beach if I walk past it. Uh, no, too small. And they've got to be half decent size. As I say, I know there's a few along here. I'm going to walk about a mile, probably fill my bag. And then when I get home, they will be soaked for about 48 hours in clean water. That's a nice one. Clean water. To get the salt out of them. Then uh, trim... I'll show you. And then you trim that edge off and you're left with the main bone. Dry them for a good few. Ugh, that's grim. That's a pigeon with a ring on it. Oh dear. Uh, dry them till they are bone dry, if you like. And then, uh, yeah, you can, they lose a bit of weight then. And then you can um, sell them. I could sell them to a local pet shop. I might even do that. Last time I sold them online, but then it was during COVID. And uh, I was doing this on my daily walk because I live right near the beach. Get the sand off it, see if it's all right. Yeah, see my point? There's loads there. And I've barely walked. Anyway, right, I'll see you at home when we are washing, drawing and trimming. There we go, they've been sitting in my backyard. Just uh, desalinating, I think is the word. Yep, just getting the salt out and now we're gonna go and trim the edges. And uh, depending on, on neaten them up a bit, give them a bit of a scrub and then that's it. Dry them out, get rid of them. Here we go, takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. Trimmed, so I've trimmed all the little flaky bits off the outside. Soaked, washed, dried, scrubbed, and uh, that's your finished product. So, about two and a half kilos here. We get this packaged up and um, should be about 30 quid. Price will come up on the screen if I've sold them already. And it's another little bit of money for your pot for free. That's, that's with all being said, that's...
quickly pause the video and a little update. In between filming and editing this video, I managed to pick up two uh, brand new WM08 wireless modules for the Equinox with cables. The pair were £50.99 and p. so I should be able to minimum double my money on them. And they, that was the last bit of money in the pot that I had kicking around. And uh, yeah, so uh, back to the video. That is it, that is it. I have the update, I suppose, I better tell you. I do have all my batteries done. That is batteries tested, sorted, taped up and ready to go. So that's all my, my lithium batteries. There is... I do have it there, 186 batteries in there. There you go. Now, I appreciate not everyone's got time to do this, but I am resting and recuperating, so I can sit. I'm not at work at the moment, I've got a couple of weeks off. So, I don't have anything to do. And I can only do stuff really that's sitting. I can do some mild walking, but I can't do any heavy lifting, and I can't go detecting. So I have a little bit more time. Hence, these are done. Um, these would be easy to do, but they're not strenuous either. So, that's the update. Yes, I will let you know when I sell that on and we get something else. That'll be the next update. Uh, but there will be videos linked to the Trading Up series featuring that and that. Look out for the logo in the corner if you want to see them. And um, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. And we're going to get to the CTX 3030 eventually.